Hello, this is Al K0CN, and I'm going to go through the process for removing the final amplifier tube from the chassis of the Alpha 8406. But first, I'd like to mention a couple of safety items. First of all, always disconnect the AC line cord from the power source before removing the top cover of the amplifier for any reason. The Alpha 8406 is also equipped with a cover interlock switch intended to remove primary power from the amplifier and a crowbar to short circuit the high voltage to the chassis whenever the cover is lifted. Now let's go back to changing the final. The 8406 uses the 4CX1500B amplifier tube. It's uh, located here inside of the silicone chimney. To remove the tube we need to remove the anode clamp and uh, also the chimney so that we have access to the tube. That's accomplished by pushing the chimney down so that we can loosen the clamp. And then we also need to remove the strap. There we go. And now I'll be able to pull the silicone chimney off of the top of the tube. I'll set that aside. Here's the actual amplifier tube itself. The amplifier tube is removed by uh, rotating it counterclockwise about a quarter turn and then lifting straight up. And there we have the uh, 4CX1500B. To reinstall the tube we set the tube back in the socket and lower it into position and then rotate it a quarter turn clockwise until it rests up against the stop. Then we'll need to take the chimney and uh, position the anode clamp. Okay, we'll position the chimney over the tube so that it seats down. Our concern here is that we get the chimney actually now to press or seat up against the uh, top of the chassis so that no air is allowed to leak out the bottom. We tighten that uh, lead down um, position the anode clamp uh, firmly on the anode and tighten that screw. Okay, that's secure. So that's about it. That's the uh, removal and replacement of a 4CX1500B tube in the Alpha Linear Amplifier. Thanks a lot for watching.